<laughs> I have returned. It is I, the most electrifying man in corpse entertainment. Slayer of posers. Grim one to all. The Necro. Sexual! And I am here with the guttural and gurgling godfather of old school Finnish death metal. We have Ante Bowman from Demolich. Hello. The sound of your bellowing voice just gave me a heavy metal hard on. <laughs> it usually does. Demolich recorded one album, Nespith, in 1993. And I gotta give you a lot of credit for knowing how to milk something for maximum impact. <laughs> Cheers. Did you ever think a quarter century ago that you would be still touring to promote this one classic heavy metal album? I was pretty sure we would be touring, but with many albums, so couldn't have even thought it would be this way. What was the initial musical reaction like? My mother was like, uh, could you play your album to me? And, uh, and uh, I played it, and after one and a half songs, uh, she was like, oh, this sounds good. When, when will you start singing? As mother, I've been singing for the whole time. Disappointing your parents is totally brutal. <laughs> Great. Demolich has such a truly twisted, insane noise. What inspired you to come up with the sound that is Demolich? I wanted to sound like some bands, but I never learned the theory, never wanted to learn how to play other people's riffs, and just started designing my own things that felt good. You have one of the most indecipherable, inhuman-sounding belching vocal styles and yet it is still completely captivating to me how did that come about uh that's another mistake i made i tried to sound like uh, lg petrov of entombed or martin van drunen of asfix uh, because they were my, my heroes and i didn't know how to do it and it was an accident with all of this renewed interest in your band i'm sure a lot of the heavy metal maniacs around the world Want to hear new Demolich. So what's in store in the future? Uh, we have two songs being made at the moment for a couple of special releases. And I'll see what happens after that. If I, if I get good reaction to it, it's very hard to start writing the continuation to that album after 25 years. It feels very heavy in a <laughs> bad way. One of my favorite activities in the Necrosexuals lair is watching Julia Child's videos, and if you watch Julia Child cooking with Demolich over it, it totally syncs up. The one thing I always admired about your band is the attention to the lyrics. Even though most people cannot decipher what you're saying, you obviously put a lot of thought in not just the lyrics, but the song titles are rather verbose. Tell us about the lyrical inspiration behind Demolich. The titles, well, they started growing because some bands had longer and longer titles. Then I decided it's time to do it the ridiculous way. The planet that once used to absorb flesh in order to achieve divinity and immortality suffocated to the flesh that it sired. Thank you for going one-on-one -on -one with the Grim One. And it would not be a necrosexual interview without some shameless self-promotion. So here is to you a I copy of my new album, Grim I love One. It. Buy it. May it bring you many heavy metal hand jobs. I am the necrosexual, and I am here with Antti Bowman from Demolich, and I will see you in hell. I was, and I still am, Antti Bowman of Demolich. Hey. Hey.